First, let me welcome you to our brand new studio. We're still moving in and I promise I will give you a full tour soon, but there are more pressing matters at the moment. For instance, the brand new HTC One. There's been a lot of buzz about the next generation HTC One, like, what are they gonna call it, HTC One 2? The original HTC One was released last year to a ton of praise from its reviewers, but when it got on our teardown table, it scored a dismal one out of 10 on the repairability scale. Will the M8 score better? Today, all your burning questions are being answered because the HTC One M8 was released and we're tearing it down for you. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new HTC One M8. While retaining the same basic appearance as its predecessor, including the eye-catching unibody case, the M8 is actually slightly larger, measuring in at 146.36 millimeters by 70.6 millimeters and 9.35 millimeters thick. The M8 is also a bit heavier, weighing in at 160 grams. The increase in size is due mostly to its slightly larger screen, a 5-inch Full HD 1080p screen with a pixel density of 441 pixels per inch. Getting into the phone was easier said than done. After dealing with last year's model, we were prepared for a fight. Luckily, this version is slightly easier to open. Slightly. With our trusty eye opener on hand to soften the adhesive, we used one of our prying picks to pry the small coverings on the top and bottom of the phone, which revealed six screws. Once we got those guys out, it just took some careful prying to get our first look inside the phone. Well, as much as we could see given all the copper shielding tape. What was underneath all that tape? Connectors, connectors, connectors. Before we could proceed with removing the motherboard, we needed to disconnect a whopping 10 cables. Now we can finally move on to the battery. You don't see it? Well, that's because once again, HTC has hidden it underneath the motherboard, which of course means a simple battery replacement will require removing your motherboard. The battery itself was lightly adhered to the LCD shield and comes in at 2600 milliamp hours, an upgrade from the 2300 milliamp hour battery found in the original HTC One. And what about the motherboard? Well, with all the shielding removed, we are finally able to get a look at the chips on the board. First up is the quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 system on a chip, clocking in at 2.3 gigahertz with two gigabytes of RAM. And right next door, you'll see the SanDisk flash memory, which on our model contains 32 gigabytes of NAND storage. One circuit board not enough for you? Good. The HTC One M8 also has a daughter board. The daughter board is home to our two rear-facing cameras, and unfortunately, it is glued in place, which means we've got some prying to do. The HTC One M8 has a total of three cameras, two of which are rear-facing. Why would you need two rear-facing cameras? That's a good question. The second camera collects depth information, which allows the user to choose which elements of their photographs are in focus after the picture is taken, thanks to the M8's U-Focus software. The primary camera is a 4 megapixel that uses HTC's Ultra Pixel technology, which focuses on larger, more light absorbing pixels rather than a greater number of pixels. Facing the other direction is the front facing camera, which got a very nice upgrade from 2.1 megapixels in the last version to 5 megapixels in the M8. That's right, the front facing camera actually has a higher megapixel count than the rear facing one. Lastly, we got around to removing the display. The fused LCD and digitizer are remarkably slim, coming in at only 2.10 millimeters thick, and while that is impressive, we are less than thrilled with how it's adhered to the phone. Our eye opener sure is seeing a lot of action on this teardown. Basically, if you ever crack your M8 screen, you will have to completely disassemble the phone before you can replace it with a new display. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10, 10 being the easiest to repair and 1 being the most difficult. The HTC One M8 scored a 2 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, the M8 has a solid external construction which improves durability. But on the downside, it is very difficult, although no longer impossible, to open the device without damaging the rear case. This makes every component extremely difficult to replace. The battery is buried beneath the motherboard and adhered to the midframe. The display assembly cannot be replaced without removing the rear case. And finally, the copper shielding that is on many components is difficult to remove and replace. 
And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.